Hi, Omega Chaos again, with another real life tech profile. And finally, it's time for my final uh, rank up hunter tech update. So I went to a local tournament in uh, on Sunday. Uh, I went uh, a free one again, so kind of a curse for me. Uh, but yeah, I did still uh, pretty well, I think. Uh, so yeah, uh, after this deck profile, I am going to break up this deck because uh, uh, this deck was meant to be a temporary replacement uh, for uh, my rank up Heldic Beast deck until the new support uh, was released in the TGG. And now it's, yeah, pretty much we know that uh, the OCC World Premiers are going to get released in the World Superstar set now. So, yeah. So, let's go our deck. Uh, first, of course, uh, the monsters. Uh, three Thunder uh, Seahorse. Uh, of course, the main searcher. Uh, very necessary to get it uh, in the early, early, early in the game. So yeah, and then uh, your triple Mahanda. Of course, for your yeah, ex extra normal summon uh, for your uh, exi summoning place. Of course, uh, light Hunter level four, and then Hunter, the same thing. Uh, really nice. Then the mini battery man engine, so the free battery man 9 volt to search out my uh, AAA or itself. Then of course battery man AAA. Uh, of course for your uh, one card uh, rank 4 place, it is a very nice card. And very powerful in this deck. Then some new additions to the deck. A triple card Kage actually. Uh, to make more Xyz plays. So it's uh, very nice. Also it helps you to get around uh, things like uh, light in prison mirror. So because it's not uh, of course a light motion and, in, and it activates in the hand. So yeah it pretty much uh, uh, won me the, my match uh, in the third round, so yeah, it's pretty nice. I find the last monster is one black lost soldier in way of the beginning, uh, because I run Kaet Kage and I have dark monsters in the extra deck as well. So yeah, why not? It really gives the deck uh, the extra boss monster. So this was my monster count. Now let's cross spells. Of course, the one rank match, the seventh one, the best, uh, pretty much the most powerful rank match ever. Except, of course, if you throw it in, in your opening hand, so then of course you can't use it, but you can just then discard it to uh, summon out number 99 by overlaying over your Utopia. Then, of course, triple rank match limited balance force. I still think it's pretty much the best uh, rank match for. A rank 4 base deck, so yeah. Then 2, a pot of duality, still for consistency. Of course, it can hurt sometimes, but I think it's pretty necessary so, to get your fantasy horse. Then 2 recycling batteries to cycle, cycle your uh, key card, so yeah, only 2 because I freeze now probably way too much. I don't really need uh, that much uh, recycling. Then uh, two MST for black removal. I consider running uh, three in the main deck, but yeah, not really necessary at least in uh, Estonia. Estonia in Estonia, no one really plays Clifford or anything like that. Then Dark Hole and uh, Snatch Chill. So that was the spells. No taps. Solomoning. Uh, combo save device and device and bottom strap hole of course the staple taps and those attribute for mass destruction of course 
Uh, my mirror force just for, for the surprise factor and it's still pretty good in, in the story at least because yeah. Then two dimensional prison, of course, pretty ice as well. And finally two fence chain. Got some most effect negation. So that was the main deck. Now uh, let's uh, go to the next deck. Of course, my favorite Exis Master, Chaos Number 101, Sound on or Dark. Of course, I don't think I need to explain it. Uh, this card pretty much won me the game in the, again in the uh, third round, in the second duel of the match. So, yeah, it's a very powerful card. Your opponent has a lot of spells and monsters on their side. Of course, it comes back when you have a regular 101 in the graveyard. So, then. Chaos Number 104 Umberhorn Masquerade, uh, pretty powerful as well, especially if you use the original number to rank up into this, so yeah, and basically MST on legs as well. Then uh, Chaos Number 106, Chant uh, uh, Red Hand, of course, very powerful card with injured balance force, basically like a Light and Darkness Dragon. Uh, opponent activates anything on the field, it uh, automatically negates all phase of cards on the field, so yeah, very nice. Then, number 99, uh, Utopic Dragon. Just with this card, the seventh one I uh, threw in my opening hand, and it's a very powerful card as well. Four is an attack beta that, that can revive number of monsters on the graveyard and uh, pretty much negates if any monster effect that targets it, so yeah, very nice. Then, Number 104, a masquerade. Um, mostly it rank up into Chaos Number 104, but it also can become pretty useful at times. At, at this deck uh, can summon a uh, Fremotea rank 4, pretty easy actually. Uh, and it actually won me the uh, second, uh, in the second round, my uh, match, so yeah, against the Batman Boxer, so and negated the uh, Batman Boxer's uh, attacking ability in the battle phase, so yeah. Then number, number one of here, Ragnar Sarah, uh, good against certain decks, but also I just to rank up this into Chaos Number 106 if I uh, don't go against uh, uh, decks that modify the monster's attack, so yeah. Then number one of uh, number 39, Utopia, of course, a pretty nice card. Yeah, to go into number 99, of course, so. Not a bad axis by itself as well, but many of course uh, kind of bash it. Then one more sort of arc, of course, really good. And number 50, Black Spot Corn. Basically a replacement of a full cost because I don't have it. But still a pretty nice card to like get rid of uh, certain problematic monsters. Then number 8, Absolute Berserk, to manage the uh, past. Uh, uh, monster from the graveyard and like uh, can equip itself to an Akis monster in this case 1200 attack then goes to Omega to make uh, can make itself unafraid by spells and traps then Dark Abyrion Exist Dragon a very powerful rank 4 it has become one of my favorite Exist monsters then Carl Corcon Antiluminous Knight pretty nice as well King of Fairnames to search at Kaatkoye and finally Hallway. So, uh, this was my uh, rank up uh, under uh, last deck update. Um, in April, once uh, the World Superstar set is released, uh, I'm going to finally build Helded Beasts in real life again. I already have all the cards uh, for this deck. Of course, I just have to get the new support cards and that's it pretty much. And I still need some stapler rank force, but that's about it. But uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, tech profile uh, for now. Uh, good, buy and Omar Chaos.